hello and welcome to another video. It's been a while, I'm back. Something that I've been looking forward to for ages. I've had this on my radar for a long time, for a good few years actually. And it is the Amok Hammock, the Drauma. I've gone for the Ultralight XL version with the Winterlight XL sleep pad that goes with it. Scold 10, <laughs> multi-tarp, that goes with it. And also it comes with these two spacer bars. You can use a stick, but these are perfectly designed for it. The Amok, oh, my lighting's all over the place. Shouldn't grumble really, but my, <laughs> my lighting's over, over, all over. There's aeroplanes kicking about. Dogs keep coming from off these paths in this wood because I'm down south and you can't get a moment's respite from human activity down here. But we're keeping a brave face. We're chipper and we're gonna get stuck into it. Let's go. Can you even see, you can't even see me. Is that me light there, look? Dark and shadowy. I don't wanna do this. Dark sound. There's dogs barking. Look. This is the truth. Oh, cards full. Check, check two. Check three, check four, check five. Check, check the Republic, whatever. Take 572. Uh, let's just do this hammock review of this hammock that I've wanted for so long. It's a joyous occasion. It's the first time I've set it up. I want you to show you around it. Look at how individual it is and how cool it is. And this is like take... 30. It's hard to keep going, mate, because watch, there'll be just a person who'll just walk past there, or a dog will run up and start chewing stuff, a plane will go over, or someone will try and mug me, I'll get tasered. I'm staying zen, I'm staying zen and positive. I don't know, mate. I just think where I am down south is not conducive to my hobbies. There, I've said it. It's not. It's not. There's too many people, there's not enough wild space. I don't know how you do it. I don't know how people who live down here who like to be away from it all do it. It's too much claustrophobic, mate. And that's why, and I'm gonna just, this is supposed to be a review video, but whatever. I haven't been very consistent on here. I've been missing my weekly uploads on the regular and just not being consistent and putting out the things that I wanna put out. And the, one of the reasons is that it's where I'm, where I'm living at the moment is just, it's not wild enough for me and it's just not inspiring. So, this side of my life has taken a bit of a back step while I focus on other things, so that's it for now. I do apologize for that. <laughs> and uh, I'll do better. That's, I've already showed you this, and I? I don't know which bit, it, well, it's like take 50. Have I shown you this? Which bit have I done? An absolute car crash of a review. I was like, let's do it properly. Got, look, testing, 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 testing. Proper mic on and that camera proper camera out and as well with this big camera when like a dog walks over and then someone comes whose dog it is or whatever to look for the dog and there's me fully grown man with a big old camera being like look at this <laughs> people are like what the fuck? who is this guy i want to start doing a few long distance hikes with a hammock that was my that was my plan with it being winter so you can get a fire going get some trees. The normal hammocks, like my DD, which I've had for years, it's the only hammock I've had um, or used, but it, it's, a, it's for sleeping on your back. So you're cocooned in there, it's comfy, but it forces me to sleep on my back. And then sometimes I get night terrors when I'm on my back. Twice I think I've had it, when I've been out in woods and just been like, <laughs> thinking that there's things hovering over me. Let's get it up and have a look at it because it's got some amazing features and it looks pretty cool. So let's do that. Hopefully we won't get attacked by any dogs. <coughs> Not gonna bother with tarp just yet, but if it was raining, I would whack the tarp up first to get a bit of shelter. Can you even see me? Or what? <laughs> yeah. Like that for a sniper shot. Someone with sniper. Oof. Good shot. Energy levels have gone, aren't they? I've been defeated. It's got me. Tell you what, started this review full of the joys of autumn. Proper happy. Nothing's going to get me down. I'm going to really go for it. 
And then when we're on take, whatever this is, 20, because there's a path just over there with dog walkers and then sometimes, like dogs always come over and say hello or whatever. And then owner comes, oh, hello, what are you, do, what are you up to? Are you, uh, and I've got to be like, oh, yes, I was just filming, uh, I do it uh, looking at hammocks, a <laughs> review of hammocks. And they're like, oh. look at you like this, feel sorry for you like that. Oh. So you want to choose some trees which are like between three and six metres apart. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's someone just chatting and coughing and spluttering over there. I was all full of optimism. <clears throat> And it's just taken just just like a relentless amount of people coming and asking me what I'm doing and dogs coming and just chewing stuff. It's just, it's killing me off, mate. So many times I've come out to film a video, like try and do a wild camp even, or just a review or whatever, and I've just been like, nah, sack it off. I want that feeling of escapism where I'm not around people. And I know people who watch my videos want that as well. They don't want me to like, like this look. Just lean up against a tree, defeated. And I swear, all right, I'll keep this on. And in no time, look, you can see a load of jackets through there walking. And in no time, there'll be just some dog will bound up to me and go, Ugh. and I love dogs. I'm a dog owner, don't get me wrong. But when you're trying to showcase, oh, well, I'm not even trying to showcase it, I just want to see it, man, as well. You're trying to set your amok hammock up and there's a dog chewing it. It's not the one. And now, look what I've done is that this title, oh, fuck, this title's gonna be whatever, check out this mint hammock. And people are gonna go, oh, nice one, a hammock. I like, that looks real interesting, because it's a, it's a cool, different style of hammock. And then there's me, leaning up against the tree, grumbling. They're like, oh, that cool hammock. Oh, he's got, he's got a tick as well next to his name, 100,000 subs. Oh, that's good, filmmaker at year. What's he doing? I want, he must be up to some real good stuff. No, mate. I'm leaning against a tree, contemplating not even doing a video, grumbling. These are good. Come on. This will cheer... Hopefully, getting sat in this thing will cheer me up. <laughs> Ooh. The bag stays attached to it. I like that. You'd have thought I would have watched a few more videos on... That's a good feature. So you roll up this stuff, it has, it's got like a, it has a little bit of Velcro that keeps all your webbing tidy. That's nice. No, no, that is nice. That's nice. Everything kept together. Can you hear that? Kids shouting, I don't, you know, there's a big bunch of kids having a good time, but not on my watch. And it's only day that's been sunny, you see. It's a Saturday, so I can't grumble. Because everyone needs to be out in woods on a Saturday. It's been pissing it down for the last few days. Any oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so I should have just made a video of me just m grumbling. And called it that. I don't even know how to set it up, mate. I've not even looked at how to set it up. Oh, but it's got the instructions on the actual thing, look. Huh. All the info you need. Pull, buckle through loop. Hey, do can Buckle pull through loop. Don't break my heart, my achy breaky heart. I'm so impressed with this already. Can you see that little... It has a little picture of a tree on there. Which means that that has to face the tree when putting it through here, so you go that way, you go that way through, simple as that. That faces the tree, pulls it tight, so you can tension it, loosen it, but when it's against the tree and you pull, it's tight. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. I'm feeling that. Right, let's go to the other side and see what Guan. Take you over, shall we? Even though light is maybe not too clever. It don't matter, does it? It don't matter. We're getting it done. Were you best suited? <laughs> You're not anywhere, are you? You're not a turd. You don't want it too high off the floor. If you fall out of it, you don't want to be snapping anything, do you? And also, you want to be able to get... The idea is to get your tarp above your hammock. Look, here's a dog, look. Watch. 
Watch this. Dog and person. Now then. <laughs> right, so this side, the red side, I can't do it, mate. Can you hear alt noise? It's like a, it's like I'm on a busy high street. Putting the little trees on them, on the side bits, they're like, someone's got to appreciate this. I appreciate it. I love it. This is your ridge line, your built-in ridge line. And we can just tension it really easy by pulling these side bits. Look at that. So this rubberized bit at the sides here is to stop the rainwater. If you've got any runoff coming down your trees, hitting your your line and going in. You don't want it coming in your hammock. So it's hitting these rubber bits and then it's just down there and off. The next step is to give it some structure. So we put our pad in, which comes with a repair kit in its own little, again, attention to detail is brilliant. It's got its own little pouch there. So that's not gonna get lost because oftentimes they just chuck it in and it's gone. That's just gonna be in there all the time. So hopefully you won't need it, but if you do, it's there for you. But this is the winter one because I'm planning to do a multi-day hike with this setup and I needed a decent R value, which this gives me. So in here, you've got your, your ultralight pump bag. I wonder if Fern wants to come and see the see thing. I'd like her to come and have a look at it when it's done up. Just words of encouragement to myself, that's all. You've got this. You demand. <laughs> Big old bed, like. As I say, you can, well, I don't know if I have said actually, but as I think I've said is, um, if you want to keep the cost down, because it's quite a pricey little number this with uh, once you get into all the extras. And for the record, <coughs> I've bought this myself, not paid to say anything good. I've had it on my, uh, my wish list for quite some time. And with me living where I live and some of the things that I want to do, this is the perfect hammock. I was going to take my DD, um, but then I thought, let's look for something where I can have a bit of a side sleep and it's a bit more comfortable for spending a long time in it. And I was like, oh yeah, the amok, so here we are. When you're blowing these airbeds up, if you just blow from a distance, like that, just a little shot of air, that's the best thing you can do. If you put your head too close and give it that, it's not gonna work. If you, I've seen some people do this, just try and get air in, that's not gonna work. If you blow from about here, the breath, your air breath brings in the surrounding air as well. So one little, and that's all you need. So how you been? You've been all right, have you? How's the missus? How's the kids and missus? You going anywhere nice on holiday? Yeah, look, so you can open it up once, it, once it's finished. It traps the air in there. This is where it gets exciting for people who give a hint because we're gonna get some sort of rigidity and structure. And what is life without structure, guys? As he yanks the cord out of his microphone and plunges himself into silence. Which is probably for the best because nobody wants to listen to me. Uh. A fully grown man having a mental breakdown while trying to set up hammock. Ugh. Oh, there's some kids, mate. I'm not. I'm not camping. I'm not camping. <laughs> I'm just filming a hammock, which is a weird thing to say, but it's true. I'm just filming a, a, a new hammock for a. It's a long story, but um, it's true. How did we get here, guys? I'm just filming a hammock. I said it out loud to a little kid, a little 10 year old lad. I'm just filming a hammock. Hey, look at this. Right, so, look, this is the foot end. Are you having that? Yeah, you are. And so this is what I would have normally in my hammock setups is I would always put like a something or other underneath it so you can get straight out of it and stand onto your socks. Am I just going to get in there like a loon? We do have a tarp. I'm not going to put the tarp on yet because I want you to see 
see it in all its glory. Like you can use a stick for these, but these are just custom built for the job in there and in there. And this enables the bug net to stay off you when you fasten it up. That's your zip around there. YKK zips, by the way. So all amazing quality and that's, and there's one at the other end, come with me. Hiya. <laughs> I keep having to explain to people that I'm just setting up a hammock. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I think it's obscure. But it's 2023, mate. It's the world we live in. And in there. Shading. I've given Fern my coordinates, so I might have Nimbus coming flying through woods at me anytime soon. Right, let's get so. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get shoes off because shouldn't really be getting it dangling in shoes really. This is where I go arse of a tip. This is what you've tuned in for. This will be you ready? This is thumbnail, this is viral sensation, this is everything. When I fall out of here and break my neck. Hold on to the middle of your ridge line. Hold on to this strap at the side and <laughs> you're in. That's it, that's better. Oh my God, it's so comfy. That's nice, mate. Gently swinging the canopy. Ah, oh. so we've got a storage compartment here. We've got a little thing for your water bottle there or your phone. Another little storage compartment here. On the other side, the bag that it comes in becomes a storage bag. Again, mirrored on this side, another little storage pouch there. And in this one is your bug net. But when the bug net's not in there, it's a storage net as well. So you've got loads of space in here. And that is comfort. Ooh. <laughs> that is, that's mega comfort. Ah. Ah, what am I? And I'm 7'5", I'm built like a brick shit house, and I'm still... You're good for about seven foot, to be honest. It's about seven foot long, this. This is the XL version. If you pull on these, we can turn this into an armchair look. <laughs> and that is as comfy as I've ever been in the woods. I don't care who sees it and who knows it. <sighs> Full on armchair. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Right, let's get the bug net on. So, armchair mode, and then you can take it back out. You wanna lie back down flat again. You undo these and tighten these. Can you side sleep? Yes, you can side sleep perfectly. You can roll around. Lovely and comfortable. You have this little clip. Unclip that. Another little clip at the bottom. Everything is everything is just stowed away brilliantly. You've got these clips, and this brings out your bug net. And let's get that up. Okay, we're away. Oh, real easy. You can do that with one hand. And there you go. You are bug free. So as you can see here, bug free. Plenty of room. That's not touching me at all. And it's got a little, another little pocket on here. That's probably to tie it all up when you're not using it, when you're using the pockets maybe, but it could also be used as a little internal washing line. That moves along the ridge line as well. Put stuff in there. Again, just loads of pocket space. It's like nothing I've ever, I've ever been in. Unbelievable, Jeff. And that's the inside, so they are bug free, completely bug free. And that all goes quite easily back in there. And then that clip up there. <laughs> oh, I love it. And there you go. Sublime. You don't want to be much higher than that, really, just in case you come a cropper. The tarp, let's get the tarp up. See what that's saying. 
snazzy. I love this as well, look. Again, it all feels like great material, but inside the bag is a separate pocket, which houses your stakes. Comes with six stakes. Look at these. Double stitch, reinforced. And it's got this thing again, this little, simple little Velcro, keeps your guy lines in check. I love that. Carabiner and different colored cord. This one's got brown. So you know that's your main ridge line. Red end and a green end to marry up with the clips that you've got on your hammock. And so once you've got your ridge line up, these, you just pull to tighten. Couldn't be simpler. You be a meat. <laughs> Hi, mate. Little dog, look. That's bang it middle, that. Use one of our pegs and then peg it out. You having that look? Look. <laughs> look at her. Doesn't she look bonny? Let's see what the, um, what the camouflaged vibes are, look. If you ignore my coat and you're just behind this tree, popping out like that, hello? That's good camouflage, isn't it? Excellent. Plenty of room either side and at the front, so you can put all your stuff underneath your, uh, your hammock and it'll keep dry all night. And it's pretty low profile, isn't it? Nice for stealth camping. So we'll take this front bit off, which is just the three pegs out over the top you can guide the back one out if you want or attach it to the one that you've already got in the ground like that and the same with the side ones they just go perfectly onto the ones that you've already done here's your stargazer mode and so that's what i'd be inclined to do on a night like that if i knew i was going to get no rain and if it does rain you can get out that just comes over three pegs in and you can scurry back under. <laughs> Unbelievable, Jeff. This has just reignited my love for hammock camping. It's so comfy. It's very easy to set up. Everything just feels such high quality. Now I will put the weight of everything on screen now and then the overall weight of this kit. Now there are different options that you can choose. I've gone for the winter bed but you can go for a lighter option. Or if you want to save a bit of money, you can use your own bed. It's just this one specifically designed for it so that the nozzle, the air nozzle comes out of a bit of fabric at the top corner so that when you're in bed, you can go and just start putting it down while you're in bed, lie on it and let your uh, your body weight push the air out. Tension lines on the tarp are superb. It's be I'm, <laughs> I'm fanboying a little bit because I've just been dealing with the same tarp for so many years and just to have something a little bit different that's made so well. I'm very impressed so far, very impressed. But again, if you want to save yourself some money, just use your, a tarp that you've already got or just buy a cheaper tarp online and just something that just covers you while you're under it is fine. There are different versions. There's the Drauma 5.0, I think it's called. I'll put on screen now the difference in weight between that and the ultra light. The reason I chose this setup was because I want to do some long distance hammock camping. Long distance hiking, hammock camping, because that armchair, I could just sit in that armchair, eat my dinner. I've got room in there. It feels like the inside of a tent almost. Perfect for side sleeping. I got another one of these, exactly the same as my setup, unopened, brand new. If you want to be in with a chance of winning that, there'll be a raffle. There's a link below. A portion of everything goes to a mental health charity and the rest goes back into the channel and I am very grateful for everyone who enters. So if you want to enter that, it's a good one, mate. You can, end, you can, you can win this exact setup, the exact same setup as me. Uh, so yeah, please do check out the link below and good luck to all who enter. And hopefully I think Nimbus and Fern are gonna come up and we're gonna do a bit of mushroom hunting. So well, maybe I'll keep the camera out and we'll get a few shots of Nimbus. First thing he's gonna do, and I'll call it now, he's gonna run, belt over to see me, go mad, and then he's gonna run and pop all the guy lines out, get tangled up in all guy lines. But you forgive him, don't you? Cause you love him so much, you forgive him. You absolutely forgive him and I do love him 
ever so much. While you're here, pick a card, any card. Jokes. That's dangerous. Look at that. Uh, seen that right on eye level. Dish. So you get these are attached to uh, to everything you get, and there's a lot more information. You can see the setups there of a regular hammock, and then that hammock. But anyway, these come on each of the things, and they've got all the information. They've got the weight. It can take 120 kilograms. I can hear him. He's here. Look. Where is he? Let's get him up. Nimbus! Here he is! <laughs> Nimbus! My old fruit! <laughs> ah, that's cool! Can I get in it? Uh, I called it! He's, he's walking around and pulling all the guy lines out and there he is! <laughs> the oh joy my of my life! Hey, hey! I'll keep that in and I will. <laughs> It's so good, it's just got such... What are you doing? Sorry. Right. Gotta get in it without falling out. This, this just shows that anyone can do it. Even if you lose the Even people who won't, who won't listen to the instructions on how to get in. No, that won't, no. <laughs> well, are you going to let me try? Yeah, sorry, sorry. I just don't I want you to break you it. Well, just say if I look like I'm about to break it. I'm just going to have a coffee. Just, I'd like to yeah. be left to it. Yeah, leave it to it. Right, I'm going... Yeah. <laughs> elegant. No, 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 no. It's so elegant. Mm, comfy. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. I've done uh, it. Uh. <laughs> Maybe no, no, off. no, you'll pop it. <laughs> get him off. Off. Oh, Nimbus. Wow, off. that is so nice. Nimbus, off. Hey. <laughs> Dog's going bonkers. <sighs> Just done a real good outro. Forgot to press record, so this ain't going to be as good. So thanks for watching. I will be doing a multi-day hike in this thing sometime soon. That's why I've bought it. I'm looking forward to it. And we'll just see if you can do multi-day hikes in the UK with a hammock. And if we're going to use a hammock to do it, this is the perfect one for that. Um, if you want to be in with a chance of winning this exact same setup as I've got, check out the link below and that's it man i'm just gonna pack this up and we're gonna go foraging then you're gonna come and say get dog there she is look Hello. <laughs> <laughs> dog. Oh, I just did yeah you understand <laughs> yeah <laughs> right let's get it packed up all right thanks for watching bye i'm really bad at that babe how do you do that do you just whack your camera every time you do your hand to the screen? Bye! <laughs> oh, was I not meant to do that? You can do it. You're doing the outro. Bye! It's good. Anything else? <laughs> um, cheese is a kind of meat. <coughs> Tasty yellow treat. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. And that's all I have to say on the matter. Thank you very right. much. Sorry for ev to everyone for that. Uh, I understand if you want to unsubscribe. I get it. Sorry for not uploading on a regular basis. I've just been finding my feet, but the feet are getting found and we'll be back to regular Sunday uploads. But for now, I send you now, but love. Take care of yourselves. Au revoir.